Kraft Foods has the largest food processing plant in the world, in Champagne. And Maracuja, Velveeta, um, mac and cheese, all that, right there. And uh, they have a serious problem in industrial maintenance. Finding people who are qualified to come in and go to work. They interviewed a thousand people last year and hired ten. They needed a hundred. So that meant 99% were rejected. And it turns out they didn't have the skill level for the job. It's no longer a matter of just watching the bottles go by and Lucy's Candy Factory or whatever it is. It's a matter of understanding how to get them lined up and running again when there's money being lost every minute it's down. Uh, and making sure that the people they hire have competency in math and computers, uh, which many, many graduates coming out of 12th grade don't have. We're delighted that Senator Durbin is here today and uh, uh, can see the success that we've had with our uh, workforce development efforts. It is a community effort supported by uh, the city of Elgin, uh, the educational community, and the business and industry. And working together, uh, we are dedicated to providing a skilled labor force for our companies and for the people that live in this area. Well, it, it really is a two-prong initiative. One, it begins in high school where U46 has taken the lead in testing and assessing their senior classes for a career readiness certificate. So when someone graduates from U46, they not only get a diploma, but a national career readiness certificate. And they've done several thousand students uh, with and have been awarded and achieved a national career readiness certificate. The other component is really important as well, and that's for those that are unemployed or underemployed. Mm -hmm. And these individuals, uh, if they're in that employment situation, uh, can, free of charge because of a United Way grant and Elgin Community College, go to the college, receive tutorial and instruction and pre-testing, uh, and take the assessment and get their certificate for absolutely no charge. So this is a community-based program and uh, uh, these, these certificates are good for a five-year period and can be used uh, all over the United States. It's a national mm -hmm. program, it's an ACT program that does the college um, testing. This is for career readiness testing and it's a credential that's widely respected among employers. There's about 80 employers in the Elgin area that now recognize this in making hiring decisions. Elgin's program has received notoriety uh, not only statewide but also uh, uh, nationally. Offer Plastics has been one of the real leaders in assessing people, profiling job positions, and you, you heard the story today from Monica who because only because she had a National Career Readiness Certificate was hired here as a machine operator and then uh, because uh, she has the necessary core skills and is still working on those is being promoted to an inspector position. So it's a great way for people to um, show what skills they have to employers.